HKM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with everything you need to know about Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we'll tell you about the Hillers basketball camp, the class of 2015 had their senior night ceremonies, and Hillers softball played a couple postseason games. But first, Massachusetts Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito met with local business leaders and town officials at Town Hall to discuss the Community Compact Cabinet, which is an effort set forth by the State House to work more closely with Massachusetts cities and towns. Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito, who took part in the Hopkinton 300th anniversary opening ceremony, was back in Hopkinton to meet with town manager Norman Kamalu as part of the Building Stronger Communities Tour. Lieutenant Governor Polito is the chair of the Community Compact Cabinet, which serves to strengthen partnerships in all cities and towns across the state. The Lieutenant Governor spoke with HCAM News about the meeting. I'm very happy to be here at the Town Hall in Hopkinton meeting with town officials, uh, obviously community leaders, and business leaders, to talk about what their vision is for Hopkinton. Obviously this is a community that is well managed, has good sound fiscal practices, has an economic development vision for its main street, and is utilizing some of the state resources to help them achieve more economic development, bringing small business to the main street, and, and just improve the overall commercial part of the tax base because Hopkinton is largely a residential community. Uh, the goal today was to have this conversation around where Hopkinton is and how the state can be a better partner. I'm very fortunate to be working with Governor Baker. He's asked me to be that lead contact for cities and towns. I mean, both of us served as selectmen in our uh, respective hometown community, so we understand the value of local government. But state needs to be a better partner as well. That's why we're focused on making sure that local aid and school aid is available uh, to our communities, that the road money comes in to maintain the roads and the sidewalks and fill those potholes. But beyond that, we need to be a better partner and really watch unfunded mandates, regulations, you know, barriers to growth in a community like Hopkinton. And what I came today to talk about was the Community Compact, which is a program that Governor Baker and I are really uh, interested in seeing spread across our Commonwealth and I wanted to make that available to Hopkinton because they're already achieving a high level of management here and just challenge them to do a little bit more you know raise the bar in terms of best practices and see if we can be a better partner by providing some resources to help them achieve that goal and by doing so they put this community in a better position for some of the larger grants that will be available for infrastructure improvements for uh, park grants and mass works grants and and, and so on. So today was just a really great meeting. I learned a lot about the leadership in this community, how much they care about getting it right, and uh, we want to make sure that we're reaching all of the communities in our Commonwealth, in every part of the Commonwealth, not just the big cities, but the smaller communities, the mid-sized communities like Hopkinton, and really just build that relationship between state and municipal government. You can find more information about the meeting at our website, hcam.tv. The class of 2015 recently had their senior night awards ceremony. Leading up to graduation, here are some highlights of the festivities. In high school, there is a competitive, academically focused environment, but we still have outstanding extracurriculars. We produce gold key winners, state champions, all state level performers, and excellent theatrical shows, just to name a few. How can you do that? How can you have such widespread success? It's because of the school culture and climate at Hopkinton that enables everybody to reach their fullest potential. The school climate at Hopkinton could best be described by support, trust, and friendship. Her commitment as class vice president or being part of interview committees here at the high school, this student has truly left her mark and will be sorely missed next fall. Standing less than five feet tall, she is still larger than life. 
and something tells me we'll be seeing a lot of her in the future, making a difference in many people's lives. It is my privilege to give this year's Principal Award to Ashley Olofsson. This young man has an insatiable thirst for knowledge and a rare ability to connect with others. We have no doubt that he will achieve any goals he sets for himself. It is my distinct pleasure to present the 2015 Superintendent's Award to Adam Grabart. In honor and celebration of the 300th anniversary of Hopkinton, we would like to present this class of 2015 yearbook to the Board of Selectmen. This yearbook will be enclosed in the 300th anniversary time capsule that will be sealed in the seat of a special bench crafted from a Hoppington Rock maple tree and housed in the newly renovated and expanded town library during the anniversary celebration in December. I would like to invite up Board of Selectmen Ben Paleko to receive a yearbook. Thirteen years ago, in 2001, when we were in preschool, the original Boston Marathon mosaic was made to commemorate the opening of the new Hopkinton High School. The original backdrop picture is the start of the 2002 Men's Boston Marathon. It contains 3,901 pictures of every student and staff member in the Hopkinton school system at that time. Last year, John Nadeau and Olivia Harvey began laying the groundwork to create another mosaic to adorn the opposite wall of this athletic center, one that will carry on the tradition started 14 years ago. This new mosaic features the start of the 2015 Women's Boston Marathon. Combined, these mosaics contain 26.2 years worth of history of the Hopkinton Public School System. You'll note that the point two comes from the pictures of the integrated preschool kids that are included. <laughs> Interesting how the total in the town of Hopkinton comes out to be 26.2 years, the same length as the Boston Marathon. So, without further ado, shall we take a look? This year's backdrop picture is the start of the 2015 Women's Boston Marathon. It contains 4,042 pictures. Each picture is four inches wide and six inches, or four inches high and six inches wide, which make the size 16 feet high by 43 feet wide. It includes staff members and students from the graduating classes of 2015 to 2027. The Benford family started a memorial fund in Abby's memory to increase awareness of the severity of anaphylaxis from food, drive research to solve the public health epidemic that food allergies have become, and to fund scholarships for Hopkinton High School students. The Keep Smiling Award is a faculty-nominated career achievement award to two students in the graduating senior class who have demonstrated the character traits that Abby brought to HHS, such as being thoughtful, empathetic, being a great friend, having strong school and community spirit, and a great sense of humor. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipients of the Keep Smiling Award, Whitney Thelheimer and Michael Spector. I am Major Kristen Hort, and I am here today representing the United States Air Force Academy and to present Darren Akelian with an Air Force Academy appointment. This appointment is equal to being offered a full four-year scholarship to a top-tier university with a value of over $45,000 per year. Darren competed with more than 9,000 other interested students for admission to the academy and is one of approximately 1,200 to receive an offer. He will be joining a select group of students that will train to be the future leaders of our Air Force. Upon graduation from the Air Force Academy, he will earn a Bachelor of Science degree and be commissioned as a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Congratulations, Darren.
You can see more clips and Senior Night in its entirety airing on our HCAM channels, also our website and our YouTube page. Well, summer is here, and that means it is time to plan for vacations and summer activities. One activity taking place in town is the Hillers Basketball Camp. New Hillers girls varsity head coach Mike Greco and boys varsity head coach Tom Keen recently stopped by the HCAM studios to tell us about the camp. Tom Nappy here with the head coach of the boys varsity basketball team, Tom Keen, and the girls varsity basketball team, Mike Greco. Guys, how's it going? Great. Very well. Great Thanks to be here. Thanks for having us. All right, so I understand there's a uh, basketball camp coming up. We'll get to that in just a second. But Mike, first I want to ask you, how does it feel to take over the girls varsity program this season? Uh, it feels great. Um, I'm very, very excited about the opportunity. Um, you know, I, I went to high school in Hopkinton, played basketball in Hopkinton, and I've been coaching here for the last 11 years uh, with Tom. And I'm, I'm, I'm very, very excited now to you know, head up my own program and be able to do it in Hopkinton. All right. Now, what do you look to bring to this uh, girls varsity basketball team? Uh, hopefully a lot of energy. Um, I would really like to, I think we have the athletes this year to play some up-tempo basketball, um, you know, really bring in uh, kind of a defensive style where our defense can hopefully create some offense and, uh, you know, get up and down the court. It's, it's a lot of fun to play that way. All right. Well, we look forward to it and hopefully it'll be a fantastic season for you in your first year as the Varsity Girls head coach. Uh, could you explain what people... Uh, what athletes will get at this camp and the benefits that it will, it will bring them? Absolutely. So uh, Mike and I have been involved in the camp now, uh, myself for over um, 30 years and Mike for over 20 years yep. now. So um, it's a fantastic camp, originally run uh, by the legendary Dick Bliss, who was a, a PE teacher and a coach here in town. And uh, we're going to continue the tradition that he set up with a high energy camp that's fun for the kids and a safe environment where the kids can really learn the fundamentals of basketball and have a great time. So there's a lot to each day and uh, we really look forward to running it again and we, we, look, we know that a lot of people are, make, are making summer plans right now but we, we hope to uh, make sure that we get some camp results of both the boys and the girls camp this year. Now, you guys work together a little bit to plan out this camp. Can you explain some of the drills and, and what happens at these camps? Sure, yeah, we've been doing it together forever. And uh, so the, the way the day kind of works is the, the morning ends up with a lot of fundamental drills, fundamental skills, uh, it kind of builds throughout the week. So it's really great for players of all skill levels, all ages. Um, as the morning goes on, we get into some team competitions, some individual competitions and every camper gets to play uh, both a morning and an afternoon game. And then in addition, you know, different points throughout the day, we'll give uh, very short lectures um, and demonstrations using some of the varsity players and former varsity players um, on you know, some of the finer points of basketball, you know, some offensive stuff and some defensive stuff. All right, uh, can you talk about any players that are gonna be uh, working with you guys for these camps? Sure. Uh, for the boys varsity team, we've got quite a few of the um, kids coming to work with us that are going to be playing uh, on the upcoming varsity team. Um, Nick Canal and Matt Locke and uh, Cooper Corby, and I'm sure I'm missing a, a quite, a, quite a few. And we'll have a lot of former players that played um, on last year's team and previous years. Um, so it's become a great tradition as far as that goes. The, the kids, a lot of times, they'll go from campers to counselors to eventually coaches and usually we have the older guys um, coach the kids that are usually in college coach and then the kids that are still uh, with the Hillers varsity team are usually our counselors so it's become a great tradition as far as that goes and the kids love working with the Hillers during the camp and then getting to see them play in the winter time they, they really like that relationship all right now I'll throw you both on the spot a little bit I'm gonna ask you each for uh, the biggest reason you should do this camp if you want to play basketball at Hopkinton. We'll start with Coach Greco. What's the biggest reason you should do this camp? It's fun. It's fun. It's, it's a great environment that the kids, um, they, they come and they, they're moving all day, playing all day, and they're there with, you know, 30 or 40 of their buddies. Um, and, and I think that, you know, having attended the camp, you know, way, way back when, it's just, it's a really, really fun week. All right. Coach yeah. Keene? Yeah, on the boys' side, you know, I, I'm going to echo what Coach Greco says. Um, it's a tremendous amount of fun and it's not just for the players that want to play for the Hillers someday because we'll have on the boys side um, 160 campers in those two weeks 
Um, and we get all sorts of kids, you know, kids that are interested in wrestling and baseball, but they like being with their friends and they like learning the fundamentals and the way it's set up. It's, I think it's fun for everybody and it's the highlight of the summer for a lot of the kids. Yep. And if I'm correct, you don't have to be from Hopkinton to do this camp. You could come from surrounding towns as well, if, if I'm correct. Right. The vast majority of the kids come from Hopkinton, I'd say probably 99 or yep. 98 percent, I'd say. But, um, you know, we definitely have uh, spots available on both the boys' side and the girls' side. Um, and we, we welcome people from other towns. But for the most part, it's always been uh, mostly Hopkinton kids. Well, and if you are looking to play, it'll certainly help you conditioning wise and stay in a basketball shape. Absolutely. Coming up next on HCAM News, Courtney will get you up to date with everything coming up on the HCAM channels with our HCAM Insider. And we have highlights from the Hopkinton Hillers softball playoff run. A lot more ahead on HCAM News. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. And by WPC Pest Control, a family-owned business for over 35 years. Owners Jim and Rebecca Mazzucchelli provide honesty, respect, and integrity, performing safe and effective pest control services. They service your home like it's their home. Hello, I am Marie Smith, and I am the chairperson of the Hopkinton Women's Club Community Register and Telephone Directory. We hope you have found our little book to be a helpful resource in the past. We are beginning work on the 2016 edition, and we need your help. Every household in Hopkinton receives one of these for free, and we want to make sure you are included. Our residential listings are based on the information we get from Verizon. If you have switched to a different provider, such as Comcast, we may not have your number. If you do not have a landline, we definitely won't have your number. Or maybe you prefer your cell number in our directory. So please take a minute and help us make the directory accurate and useful for everybody. Take a look at the Hopkinton phone book that you have and make any corrections in it. Or if you are new to town, please send us an email before June 30th. We would love to hear from you. Thank you. Welcome back to HCAM News. Hiller's softball had a remarkable regular season as they went 18-0 in the TVL, undefeated in the TVL for the first time in recorded history. They were 19-1 overall for the season. After a bye round, the Hillers had over a week off before they took on Needham in the postseason. Here is how they responded. The Hillers got a bye round in the preliminary round of the postseason and took on Needham in the first round of the playoffs. Bottom of the first, two on, one out. Kayla Sullivan does this. Rizzo set to deal. And this is hit in the air towards the left field fence, and that is gone! A three-run homer, Kayla Sullivan. Speaking of home runs, clearing the bases, 3-0 Hillers. Top of the second, Juliet Hume is in the zone. There is strike three. One away, set to deal. Strike three. She is throwing heat today. A captain as well, and she'll take strike three. Three strikeouts in the second inning for Hume. Five nothing Hillers, top of the fifth. Hume continues to roll. Hume deals. Strike three to the set. Strike three. Strikeout number 10, Liver. Strikes out the side. 11 strikeouts in the game for Hume. We will head to the bottom of the fifth. Five nothing, Hillers. Bottom of the fifth, it's a scoring fest. And she'll crush this in the left field. A liner, one run around a score. Kayla Sullivan being waved around. Eight nothing, Hillers. A two RBI single for Juliet Hume. Rizzo set to deliver. On the ground, up the middle, past the glove of the diving shortstop, Annie Rotman. Jenna Bogan being waved around. The throw in is not going to be in time. Gets by the catcher. Hugh moves up to third. An RBI single for Nikki Como. It's 9-0 Hillers. Rizzo to the set. 
And this is hit in the air towards the fence, and that'll drop in for a base hit. One run around to score, two runs around to score, and it is a 12-0 lead for the Hillers. Hillers Mercy Needham 12 to nothing in the first round of the playoffs. Hume goes the distance and gets the win, striking out 11. Sullivan goes one for one with a pair of walks, scores three runs, and drives in three as the Hillers advance. After a dominant win in the first round, unfortunately for the Hillers, they played their next game the day after to catch up with the rest of the league. After the game date got delayed by graduation and various school activities, Quite a disadvantage, as of course in softball you usually stick with the same pitcher. Here are the highlights from what was a battle between two great teams. After beating Needham on Saturday, June 6th, in the first round of the playoffs for Hiller softball, they were forced to play Notre Dame Academy the day after. Top of the third, freshman Kaylee McDonald does this for Notre Dame. Delivers. And this is hit in the air towards the fence. And that's gone, a solo home run for the freshman. One to nothing, Notre Dame Academy. Bottom of the third, Hillers respond. Page to the set. On the ground, up the middle, and it's off the glove of Page, and everybody's safe, and it's a tie game. Notre Dame got right back to it on the top of the fourth. One and oh count as Hugh delivers. Hit in the air towards left field, towards the fence, and that's off the fence. And a run is going to score. Two runs are going to score. Two RBI single for Bridget Dilworth. The Hillers fall to Notre Dame Academy of Hingham 3-1. They finished the season 20-2 overall. Hume went the distance, giving up three runs and striking out 12. Kristen Page went the distance for Notre Dame, giving up one run, striking out seven. Congratulations to the Hillers on a terrific season. It is a shame such a terrific season had to come to an end. You can see Hillers softball airing on HCAM Ed and see all the HCAM game broadcasts and highlights on our YouTube page or website HCAM.TV. For all Hillers playoff information, be sure to head over to our website. For everything else coming up on our HCAM channels, here is our promotions coordinator, Courtney Taylor, with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of the HCAM Insider. On Friday, June 19th at 8 p.m., the Hopkinton Coffee Break hosts discuss being brave and stepping out of your comfort zone. At some point, you just begin to think about your, your purpose, um, and you, you decide you know, what is it, what difference do you want to make in the world? And even in the sphere that you're in. And it doesn't have to be, your family, it can your, be your friends, family, your friends, your that particular work. day. On Saturday, June 20th at 4.30 p.m., it's softball versus Needham in the first round of the playoffs. Then at 6 p.m., the Hillers take on Notre Dame Academy in the second round of the playoffs. On Wake Up and Smell the Poetry on Monday, June 22nd at 7 p.m., audience members shine as they perform original poetry, stories, and songs. They had wooden floors, wooden up to three feet high on the sides, and then screens from there up with a canvas roof. When it rained, it was music to my ears. On Tuesday, June 23rd at 6.45 p.m., the Board of Selectmen meeting will air live on HCAM TV. The Selectmen will discuss the CVS that is slated for downtown. On Thursday, June 25th at 6 p.m., we bring you the 8th grade promotion ceremony where the students are celebrated live on HCAM TV. On Sunday, June 28th at 10 a.m., the planning board meeting from June 22nd will air. On HCAM Ed, we bring you the Hopkinton Middle School one-to-one -one laptop initiative where you can learn about the program and how students will be using laptops in and out of the classroom. If you would like to receive all of this information and more from our HCAM Insider newsletter, just send me an email at Courtney at HCAM.TV. If you do receive the HCAM Insider, then please pass it along and help us grow. As always, thanks for watching HCAM. Now back to you, Tom. 
Thank you, Courtney. That will wrap up this edition of HCAM News. Be sure to check our website, hcam.tv, or find us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with everything Hopkinton, including upcoming local events. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. Take care and be well. Yeah.